Hi, today I'm talking about the Senef 11. The Senef 11 came out in about 1983 and was produced, I think, until 1990, and it's based on the classic Senef E. You see here it, we have the cesium meter, so we have a meter above. We have the meter is, let me get a bit of light on here, we have the meter above the lens. So it's not a through the lens metering, it's a metering on top here, like the Zen of E, and you read out on the meter here, so it's not through the lens. So in one sense it's very similar to the Zen of E, but it has two important modifications. The shutter speed, where on the Zen of E you have to pick up the shutter speed and you've got to be very careful where if you change the shutter speed before you've round, round on. Here you change the shutter speed nice and easily. The other big difference is you have to ride back the film, you've got a crank so and a lever there. So winding back the film, you press down the shutter, you lock the shutter, to release the couch in there, and then you wind back the film. The use of this camera is straightforward. To open the back, again a slight improvement, you open the couch here, film goes in here, you notice how similar it is if you know the Zenith E, you wind on here, So click wind on, click wind on, have your film in, and to take a photograph you focus, you set your, you read off your meter here, you read, you decide on whether you're going to have shutter speed, 125 would be a 5.6 here, or if I was deciding on the aperture I might go for um, F11 would be on 1 30th, set my camera accordingly, take. Now the advantages of something like the Zenith is that, that it is a completely manual camera, you've got no batteries to worry about, plus the Zenith 11 was a M42 screw thread so you've got all those screw thread lenses out there, so you've got a vast quantity of lenses to play with, plus the extension tubes for the M42 are really cheap, so if you want to do some close-up photography. As I said, probably you might remember, when I did the Zen of E, I talked about how I didn't really like the camera. This is an incredibly similar camera, however, the fact that it's easy to rhyme back the film, the fact it's easy to change the shutter speed, makes this an easier camera I found to use. And plus, um, it's like the E, it's open aperture to um, when you are focusing. So compared to the Zen of E, I think this has a lot going for it. I was amazed when I used it how much I actually enjoyed using it. It is built like a Russian tank, it's metal in construction. Some people love the Helios lenses, you get an interesting bokeh on them. If you've, and you can pick them up moderately easily. The 11 isn't as common as some of the other Zeniths, but it's a good one to have a go at. If you find one, hope you have fun with it. Bye.